Happening right now, Kansas City has an election. The municipal election includes several school board races and bond questions. There's also a special election for a sales tax that would go towards the Kansas City Fire Department. The coronavirus pandemic has changed everything, it seems. And the simple act of casting your vote isn't immune. KCTV 5's Amy Anderson is in South Kansas City today, where some voters say the confusion was high. Well, there is confusion tonight for a number of reasons. And when you hear the numbers behind it, you'll understand why it has been so difficult to keep things straight. It says to come here. Every door's locked. I can't vote. I have to go to 119th and something. It looks like everybody thinks the same thing. Voters who showed up at the Greek Orthodox Church off Warnell to vote were met with an unwelcome sign of the times. Because of COVID-19, the number of polling locations has dwindled and some people didn't get the late notice. It's going to inconvenience a lot of people, in my opinion. It's not me, I'm retired. And I have the time to do it. But. Here's what happened. The election was supposed to be held back in April, but thanks to the coronavirus, the date was pushed to June 2nd. The election board says the number of polling places plummeted from 144 down to 26. That meant people who had been voting in the same place for decades would be switching it up. And while it was inconvenient, most voters we talked to say they get it. Oh, it don't really bother me. It's a small inconvenience to pay for considering everything that's going on in this country. It would have been nice to have somebody here to help direct us, but it's okay. We, we're resilient. This is not a thing. Here is the other issue. The election board says it lost more than half its poll workers because they're in the high risk category for complications from COVID. They say they are desperate for people to sign up for future elections. Reporting in South Kansas City, Missouri, Amy Anderson, KCTV5 News. And if you have our KCTV5 News app, you can be the first to learn of today's election results. Download it for breaking news updates in your neighborhood.